Hello guys, this is Just One Guy, and I've been working on my Mistborn project, and while I was working on it, I came across something interesting. There was a problem I had to solve, but I didn't exactly know how to solve it. And the problem was how to get an object to rotate the same direction as the ground. And that might sound easy, but if the ground is slanted, then how do I get an object to rotate to that same direction? And I'll just go in, in game and show you uh, exactly why I needed to do that. Now right here you can see I have a little uh, targeting reticle when he locks on and it just shows you that you're locked onto the character and when the ground is flat that a little uh, game object is flat too. Now the problem I had was what happens when he goes on slanted ground like this right here and if I lock on you can see I solved that problem. Now when he goes on a piece of ground that's slanted the uh, lock on UI thing will slant too and when he goes back on the ground that's straight it will match that direction and I just uh, thought it was a bit of a complicated problem because it dealt with rotations and I'm not that good with rotations because it requires a lot of math and I'm not too good with math but I looked the problem up online and it turns out it's pretty easy to solve. Uh, I'm just going to pop into Visual Studios and show you how I did it. Now right here you can see this is a script that angles the little uh, targeting reticle to make it match the direction of the ground or the angle of the ground. Now this is completely pointless. I didn't need this right here. All I really needed was the transform. I thought I was going to need this but I didn't. And all it does is it shoots the raycast straight down and it hits the uh, floor and it gets the normal from the floor within the raycast hit. And it takes that normal and I guess the normal has the angle of the, the, um, the floor and it matches the rotation of the object to the, rotation, to the uh, angle of the floor through this bit of code right here. It's just this one line right here, which is transform rotation equals quaternion dot look rotation and it's uh, got something to do with vector 3 cross I'm not gonna lie I don't really understand this part too much I just copied it from the answer online and it seems to work as uh, intended and I've added this uh, piece of code right here for a reason that's not quite obvious until you uh, until I go back into the game but essentially all this does is it makes the object follow the, uh, the AI and I'll just pop back into the game and show you why you need to do that. And now we're back in Unity. Now before, I had this little targeting thing inside the AI. And if you put it inside the AI, the, the rotational code for uh, controlling rotations that we just saw, it won't work correctly. It'll it'll be weird and angly so what you have to do is you have to have the object this targeting reticle follow what you want it to follow and that's why I had that bit of code that said it had to follow it instead of just putting it directly inside the AI and that's how I solved the issue that's it for today thank you for watching